we're going to talk about a game called New Choice. Okay, so in the game of New Choice, you're going to be doing a short little scene, uh, which you'll get a suggestion for. I know you guys are familiar with that. Uh, so there'll be four players in the scene, but I will, I'll be the ref and they'll be in the scene. So they're going to do just a normal scene. They're going to come in and do whatever. They're going to try to do a little bigger movement because I, at any point, can say, New Choice and they'll have to redo whatever they did, but make it a little snappier. So we're gonna do an example scene just because I'm really bad at explaining things and I feel like it's easier to watch. Uh, so can I have a suggestion of something you wish you had done when you were younger? <laughs> like, no, like a kid, like a little kid. I got a pet monkey. Pet monkey, okay. So getting a pet monkey is your suggestion. Players are ready for the game of new choice? Yes! Players begin, tweet. Oh, oh, ah, ah. Tweet, new choice of entrance. And they, they'll, they're the ones who are taking the suggestions from the audience. It's kind of like a host in other kind of improv games. Mm -hmm. I know that's Do you guys have a coach or are you all We do. Um, we have, a, well, our practices are run by our managers. We have three, which is pretty good because we all, we all know different things and we can all combine. Um, but Comedy Sports LA does provide us with a class to um, kind of learn as best as we can. And they want, like, an experienced adult who does this for, like, a living. a living to help us out with that. So we do have a coach, but they only visit us three to four times a year. Um, but we do have an advisor. Um, but pretty much everything is run by our managers, which are kiddos. Yeah. 
Wow. Yeah. We're pretty self-sufficient, not to brag. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so your guys' suggestion was Paris. Paris. So, players, are you ready for the game of new choice? And you will respond with yes! yes! All right, players begin. Tweet. Just so anyone go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, All four? I'm in Paris? Yes, yeah, yeah. so you guys, okay. so your suggestion is Paris. You don't have to be in Paris, then. Tweet, new choice of entries. <laughs> it's the Eiffel, it's the Eiffel Tower, I believe. I, 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 is there any way we can take this home? Is that what that is? I mean, yeah, okay. oh, wait a minute, it's on page. Wait, Where is it? Is it the Mona Lisa? I'm not wait, sure. Oh. Wait, are you, do you know? Wait, wait, are you are you oh. are you are you, are you French? We. Oui. <laughs> <laughs> New <laughs> Parisian response. We. Another country? No, just anything oh, you want. Okay. You can be like, I want to go to the yeah. moon. I want to go. Okay, so I want to go to Jupiter. Egypt. Just roll or... out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. Sometimes you make up your world. Sometimes it gets a little crazy, and you guys said a lot of really fun things like the Wii, like the Wii, and the uh, crap, the the polka dots, uh, and then like I want to paint the Eiffel Tower teal with the face of board. <laughs> like all that was really funny, um, but I couldn't hear some of it just because it got a little hectic with talking. Okay, good yeah. to know. So, you guys have plenty of time, because I know that's what always gets me, because I'm like, I thought of something funny, I have to say it right now. But remember, you guys have like four to five minutes for the scene. Oh. You have plenty of time to say whatever you want. Um, so don't, don't worry about rushing yourself too much, because you have all the time in the world, and the ref, if the ref knows that you're going to say something funny, they're not going to be like, no, no more, we're done. You know, they're <laughs> they're going to give you enough time. Like, they time the games, but okay. that doesn't mean that they're going to stop it exactly when it needs to be stopped, you know. They'll allow time for the tagline of the scene, something okay. like that. Um, did you guys have anything else? Because I don't remember. No. 
<laughs> um, I was just gonna give a note. Um, when the ref says new choice, you don't have to like justify it. Like, okay, yeah. like for example, because I know that you said, and if we can't find this color, then we can go with this color. But like, if like, let's say I'm like, oh, I really want to buy a chair, and then new choice. What you want to buy? Oh, I really want to buy a mule. Like you don't <laughs> like you can just repaint oh, okay. the sentence and okay. change. Okay. And the, yeah, that is that. Yeah. So it's basically like if the ref wasn't there and the scene was just going. They're like, yes, they're calling new choice, and yes, they're obviously there, but you want the scene to continue as if because. In the scene, there's not like a person following you guys around in France, like, no! <laughs> I didn't like that. So just make sure to keep the scene going. And yes, we want to justify it, but you don't have to stop the scene and be like, okay, guys, change my mind. <clears throat> not, that, not that again. It'll just keep going. Uh, anything else? Yes. So two things. First, I want to say, you like kept the scene going by saying, let's go to a cafe. I think that was really good. Instead of like continuing to talk about colors, you're like, we're moving on. That was good. Got to keep the scene going. Yeah. And um, also, whenever you're done playing the game, you're going to get notes. And I know when I first got notes, I was like, I'm terrible. Everyone yeah. can see it. But no. We, yeah. It's not the like reason, that. We're helping. Yeah. The reason yeah. that we give notes um, is because we know that you guys are capable of of incorporating them into what you give. We wouldn't give you notes if like you were god awful and could never <laughs> fix it. Like like if you were like a lost case, we'd be like, that was amazing. We did a great job. <laughs> yeah, that, was of, <laughs> that was part of what we wanted because our director teacher isn't here. So mm. we're kind of just doing it ourselves and so we don't get feedback. Yeah. So so we I think it's really helpful. Yeah, I would say name. that in general for you guys, you don't have to be completely reliant on having a specific director. You guys can feel free to give each other feedback because improv is completely subjective, right? Like what I'm saying, you guys might not agree with, and that's okay because we're just making up stuff and we're having fun, right? <laughs> yeah. So you guys can always give each other what you feel is best because Improv is, like I said, subjective. What what she thinks is funny might not be what she thinks is funny, and it's great to have Im improv of feedback from everyone. And that's kind of why, like, I'm not too afraid to tell you guys how I feel because I know that's what that's what I want. Like, I want everyone to tell me how I suck, and then I'll fix it, right? Um, <laughs> and notes then are not written. It's the immediate feedback. Well, you yes. guys you just write them. Notes. If you guys wanted to write them down and like go over them and look at them. <laughs> New choice of French word. Who's YG? <laughs> I like how you said, I don't know why. <laughs> he, he only knows croissant. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you guys are hilarious. Yeah. So um, for new choice, just make sure you're not talking over each other too much. We want to hear everything you guys have to say. If the new if the ref calls new choice and they say what it is, let the person who just said it answer back. Um, and also if they keep saying, um, like if they say New choice of pants, new choice of pants, new choice, new choice, new choice. That just means they don't want to keep saying pants. So mm -hmm. that means they're just trying to get you to go out there because mm -hmm. it's just a little too long. Okay. Any questions from you guys or any notes that you want to give each other? Oh, um, one more thing is if we decide to play new choice, um, it'll be a lot easier to hear the new choice because she'll have an actual whistle and she'll blow the whistle before giving a new choice. Yeah, oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Maybe I'll download a little whistle. <laughs> well, and what I'm happens if the person point. freezes? Huh? You know, what if somebody's just like, like, I if don't know another French word. That what happens? What do you do? Okay, okay. so, so French for something like that, it doesn't have to. Like, remember, we're improv. We're just we're so just having fun. You could be like, um, yeah, yeah, you could be like, oh, and then audience is like, ha ha, that's not French. That's funny. Okay. <laughs> French accent and English word. Like, yeah, you'd be like, uh, hello. You know, like something. Like, oh, <laughs> it's it's really up to you guys. We're just here to have fun. Yeah. Yeah. Or if in general anyone does ever freeze, it's like the whole team has each other's back. Yeah. So like if someone freezes, like feel free to be like jump in. Do, 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 and like step in. Like it's like because the whole point of improv is that you guys aren't up there alone. Like you have each other's backs. Like it's a good. Yeah. Yeah. And that doesn't mean to like answer for the new choice every time. But, yeah. uh, but if you can, easy, if you can tell that they're struggling. Also, also, if you didn't hear what the ref said, you could always say, like, what was that? Or something.
something that is like pretty cliche in comedy sports is, I know what you said, but for the audience members who don't know what you said, um, yeah. Um, the other thing I was gonna say was, oh, wait, no. It's, it's gone. To that. <laughs> um, yeah, four people initially feels kind of crowded. To yeah, me, so and you said four people teams because we've done dialogues, debates, and some three things on the stage. Like game show. So my question on this one was, she seemed like she was a fourth wheel going around. That was what I was going to talk about. I completely because. Forgot. I wouldn't have known how to integrate her with the other three because they were a cluster and they were talking a lot and it seemed like an extra. Okay, so for the way that we usually do our short form scenes, is every scene is about the first two people that enter. So it is about mm -hmm. their relationship. Um, Good to know. So um, for the scene that we did, it was kind of more about the relationship between like the monkey and like the little girl of like, oh, I'm scared of the monkey, and then the monkey being like, Burr. but you will see that um, relationship progressing. So the third and fourth people that come in, they're there to um, either build up the relationship between the first two people or completely break it down. Okay. And sometimes the fourth player isn't necessary to come in. And the fourth player can totally be something like that where they're just in to have a little comedic relief or have a little one-liner to come in. Sometimes the fourth player is the funniest one of the whole thing, right? You could come in and do a little wee-wee and get the loudest laugh of the night and then, you know, and then, and they, leave. And then they leave. And that's the other thing. You don't have to stay in these scenes the entire time. You can come in, say what you want to say, and you can leave. You can also come back in as another person. So if you come in as a little French person, you leave the scene. You can totally come back and be another tourist. You can be the person's mom. You can do whatever you want. When you leave the scene, it brings you a whole new blank slate that you can restart with. But you can also come in as the same person if you want. Yes. Yeah. Like you don't have to. And so that was another thing I was going to say. Kind of let the first two people come in and set up their relationship instead of just coming in. Like I said, it, sometimes it's easy to get caught up in, I have a funny thing and I gotta go say it right now. But um, we wanna make sure that the scene doesn't feel too crazy and we wanna just have those first two people set it up a little bit. Make sure you know who you are. You wanna know who you are, where you are, what you're doing, and like how you know each other. It seems cheesy to be like, oh my God, Marcy, my stepsister, what are you doing here in Paris? Like, yes, yeah. get it all out there. Oh. Yeah. You want to, yeah, the, you want the audience to know who you are. You don't want to just, mm. you want to have like a name. You want to know how you know each other, stuff like that. The crow. Um, Is that what it's called? Character relationship. Character One, two, relationship yeah. objective and where you are is all stuff that you want to throw out there in the very beginning of your scene. Crow. So you want to name each other, which is like your character. Um, R is your relationship, right? Yeah. So you want to know how you know each other. You're not just two random people in France, right? You, you, you're there for a reason, which is kind of like your objective. Um, so relationship, you know each other. So like, I'm Marcy, that's Dan. You know, we know each other because we're best friends. And we're in Paris, which is yeah. where we are. We're in Paris because we're artists. Yeah, oh, like you don't have to like come straight out and be like, this, I'm Joseph. You could just be like, Oh, honey, I'm so glad to finally oh. spend the rest of my life with you, Joanne. <laughs> Daniel, I would, I would love nothing more than to be doing what we're doing right now in Paris, just looking at the Eiffel Tower, and that's yes. it. That's all we're doing. <laughs> just and then, like, we went over everything. We, by we got it out super quick. You don't have to rush it like that, obviously, and be like, oh, Daniel, here we are in France doing things, and this is why we are here. Yes. <laughs> but make sure that all of that comes out before the third and fourth people. Um, the other thing is, uh, we actually got this note pretty recently. Um, it's, it's, every scene should be the day something happens. Like, it's, like, you're, like, it's not, like, okay, for example, being in, in Paris, it's not just another day in Paris. Like, being in Paris is the day that you got married, or the day that your 
favorite animal went missing. Like, or for example, it's the day the Eiffel Tower did get repainted, yes. and it's got polka dots on it, and you don't know how to feel about it. Exactly. You're like, do I call the government? <laughs> do I let someone know? Do I go home? Do I help with the paint? Do I, do I help with the polka dots on the very top? Because I'm very tall. <laughs> um, yeah, so make sure there's like a reason you're there. It's not just like, like you said, it's not just another day in Paris. You want to um, have something grand happen. Yes. Nothing. I'm pretty sure you're gonna go over it later. I was just gonna say like, the structure of the game and then oh, like, yeah. scene sticks. Yeah, all that. we'll do that for sure. Let's later. test. Let's test this uh, whistle. Oh, it makes no noise. <laughs> Great. Fisher. <laughs> That's disgustingly okay. terrible. Okay. So, any other questions? Notes for each other? Anything of the sort? Okay. Let's get four more players up.